Hey, good evening, everyone. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thanks. Great. How about you? Doing great, thank you. So it's it's great to meet everyone. Uh, let's start off by telling me a little bit about yourself before, while we wait for the other people to come in. Who would like to start? Okay, I see everybody's a little nervous to begin speaking. What happened? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so who would like to begin? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'll start if you want. I see you guys are a little nervous. Okay, so my name is Edwin and I'm gonna be your teacher during this module. It, it's going to be four weeks. So everybody, we should be already have access to our, our platform. It's going to be intermediate module two, okay? Does, did everybody already have access to the platform? Yes, I, I had access. Okay, good. Did everybody join the WhatsApp group? I tried to write in WhatsApp this afternoon. And I try to access uh, the platform, but uh, uh, show me the um, the one level, not intermediate level. Ah, uh, then you probably that's why you have the wrong platform. Uh, how did you access uh, uh, in the WhatsApp group? You didn't have access to the WhatsApp group, Francisco. I write, I wrote in the WhatsApp group, but I, uh, only me. <laughs> Let me see. All right, let's take yes, I, I saw the message. Uh -huh. Because the only people that I saw they wrote in the group was Cristina and Javier. Oh, that's you, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, Javier, Javier Megan. okay. I am. All right, I got you. Okay, perfect. So yes, you, you have the right one, um, but you don't have access, Javier, you don't have access to the, to the platform? My access only the one level or... Um, I, I will shake again. Okay. I will check again and and uh, no yes and yes double check to make sure and then if not we will talk to Jonathan or somebody in the office to see if they can help you. Okay. Okay. No. Problem. Thank you. Sure. Of course. Anybody else? Anybody else have any problems, technical difficulties? Hi, teacher. I only um, open the platform, and but I not check it very well. Tomorrow, I will check better, and I tell you if okay. I is okay or not. No problem. No problem. The important is that thank you that you have access to the platform right now. And that you are that you join the WhatsApp group. I have a question. What's the name of the WhatsApp group? Let me see what name they put. They have exactly the schedule for it. It says I201. Okay. So I I in the right in the right group. Okay. It says zero one and then it's uh, eight to nine PM. So it should be like in the chat. That's that's the beginning, right? I two intermediate two zero one and eight to nine p.m. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. Anybody else have any issues? No. No. 
Okay. Okay, perfect then. So let's get started. Uh, is this anybody's first time or has everyone already studied at Inglés Corporativo before? Excuse me? Have you studied in, uh, with Inglés Corporativo before? Have you studied before online? Uh, only level, uh, model one. No, I have not. So, okay, so Armando, this is for you the first time studying online? Yes. Okay, all right. Me too. Me, me too. too is the first time. Ah, okay. Well then, excellent. Let me explain everything so that the, it's clear for everyone how it works, okay? Let me share my screen with you then. Let's see. Okay. So when you access the platform, you're going to see, for example, this. It's going to say, Inglés Intermedio Modulo 2. And then you're gonna have all of these things, section one, two, three, four, and five. This course is four weeks long. That means it is 16 classes, Monday through Thursday, okay? Now, normally that, those are the normal days, Monday through Thursday. This week, we are going to go Tuesday through Friday because we didn't begin class yesterday, only this week. The other weeks are going to be Monday through Thursday. Okay, now what is the idea of the course? The idea is to help you develop all of the sections that are here. We have five sections. So when you click in section one, you will be able to see many different activities. You will see the objectives, you will see videos, okay, objectives. And then you have these little checks, these little box. These are the knowledge check. When you see these, these are obligations to do. Why are they obligation? Because you need a grade of 80 or more. So you need to have 80%, okay? 80% or more to pass, okay? So we watch the videos, we talk in class, we develop the exercises, and then here the knowledge checks are the ones that you do. If you have less than 80, you can do again. It's not a problem. But the minimum, the average is 80. Now, we have two exams, okay? We have exams after unit three, okay? So we have unit three, and then after we have a midterm, which is the exam is of unit one, two, and three. Then at the end, the last week of the class, we have a final exam. The final exam is units one, two, three, four, and five. All of the information that you learn, you have. So is that okay? We have two exams and we have many activities to complete in there. Any questions in this moment? Now everything's no. clear. Okay. Let's check. What is the minimum grade to pass? 8%, 80%. 80, correct, 80%. That is the minimum grade to pass. Now, is not obligation your attendance for the class. If you have to work or you have other activity or maybe in El Salvador it's raining and then no electricity in the house, it's normal, right? It's okay, you can watch the videos in YouTube tomorrow, or you can watch later, okay? Or you can do the exercises by yourself. So this means that, imagine Henry. Henry says, I know, I want to finish the platform fast. No problem. If Henry today or this weekend, Henry wants to complete all of unit one, it's okay. Henry can complete all of unit one. The objective of the class is to help you answer and to explain to you what you didn't understand. So the idea for using the platform correctly is today you are going to watch the video or, and then if you have questions, you ask, you look for the vocabulary or we maybe you are doing the exercises in the knowledge check and you say, hey, I don't understand. All of the answers are wrong. Ah, 
then in the class, we can help you to make sure that you understand what to do in those sections. Is that okay? Okay. Are there any questions? Yes, only uh, comments. Yes, Maria. Okay. okay, you told us that uh, it's necessary to take the, the classes. Mm -hmm. but, uh, because if we complete the platform, we pass. It's, it's correct. It is correct. If you complete with a, the platform with a grade of 80 or okay. more, yes. Okay, I think that it's important uh, to participate in the class because we increase the knowledge. And uh, sometimes, uh, for example, in my last level, the last model, uh, when I want to watch, watch the the classes um, in many uh, on, on the time uh, it was a I'm not going to say parenthesis because we have we uh, we study in in, um, in the group we have have conversation and the 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 classes. Uh, no, it, it wasn't recorded. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure, Maria, because the classes are, are always recorded, the classes. Uh... Yes, but I don't know if, if it's your form, but the, the teacher, the last teacher, mm -hmm. uh, he, he made groups and we practiced. We practiced and yes. for many a uh, long time the the recording only only showed us the, uh, the screen only because we we were in, in conversation and mm. yeah, I, I don't know I, what is your I, 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 I'm not sure I'm not sure how the recording function but in this case but is is correct. For example, if we have groups, the the recording does not does not record all the groups. It okay, yes. records the main group. So yes. you, you and Henry are in a group, and Francisco and Carl and Carla in a group, and Rosa and Brenda in a group. It only records one group. It does not record all of the groups. So okay. if you have if you need information or you have vocabulary from your partners, it's necessary that you write down because it's not going to be recorded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. And yes, Maria, the, the objective is to help you with the classes online, but your grade and your diploma and your certificate is for you to do the platform. Okay. That form is the obligation for you to complete. The important is not to wait. Not, for example, Henry said, ah, no, I do the platform on Saturday or Sunday. No, the idea is to complete in the class and to advance every day more and more and more. That way is, is like the gym. It's like the gym. If you go to the gym one day in the week, it's good, but it's not excellent. Yeah. And if you go to the gym, every day every day this is the same for the english class if you participate and you come to the english class every day is excellent for your development if you only come one day okay it's good it's better than zero but it's not an excellent way to learn okay thanks you well um so yes, if, if the platform don't check the speaking and the fluency no, Henry, the platform does not check the speaking or the fluency. It only checks your knowledge for usage of grammar, reading, and listening comprehension. And reading? Not reading. Yes. And okay. Reading, yes. So okay. listening, reading, grammar, and writing. This, okay. this is what the platform checks. Okay. That's why this is what Maria is saying, that really 
the idea of the class is to help you practice the speaking, to interact, because you don't have the opportunity in the platform, only in the groups do we have the opportunity. Any other questions? No, teacher. Okay. All right, perfect. So I'm glad that everybody has the idea of uh, a little bit to get to know each other and some information, okay? So in this moment, we are going to make, like Maria mentioned, we're going to make groups. You are going to receive an invitation to go to the group. When you receive the invitation, put accept, and then you will be in a private group with a partner. We are going to do, our first day is introductions. You're going to get to know your partner. What does your partner do? Where does your partner work? Why is your partner learning English? Then we're going to come back to the room and we are going to present our partner, okay? So if I am with uh, Carla, I learn everything about Carla. Then when I come back, I present. Hey, this is my partner. Her name is Carla. She, and then all that I learned from her, okay? So the first activity, first person. The second activity, we use the third person. Remember the rules for the third person. He, she, it with S. I, you, we, they, no S. So in this moment, no S. But in the presentation in the class, yes, there's going to be an S. You ready? Okay. Yes, okay. Teacher. We have five minutes in the group. Two minutes and 30 seconds per person five minutes in the group to ask and answer our partners. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay. No problem. Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Hi. Welcome to this new course. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. 
If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. All right, welcome back everyone. It's amazing, five minutes is fast and to find out a lot about your partners is you have to speak even faster, okay? So let's begin. Armando, please introduce your partner. Armando, your microphone is on mute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's, uh, she's Claudia. She lives in Santa Tecla, but she works in Sonsonate. She, she travels every single day. She is, man she is hospital manager and she is married. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Good. You use all the third person correctly. Good. Claudia, talk about Armando. Claudia, your microphone is on mute. Ah, sorry, but my internet is in the cloud. Uh, okay. Okay, I think. Uh, his name. He is Armando Marin. He is an industrial engineer for that reason he is uh, learning right now. And he lives in San Salvador. Teacher, did you hear me? Yes, Claudia, I heard you. Is Armando working? Yes. He is working in in textile company. The name of the company is Text to Fill. Okay, good. Uh, remember, the pronunciation is textile, textile company. Textile company, okay. Good, good job, Claudia, very good. All right, Evelyn. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Uh, my, my partner is Dalia Carranza. Uh, she has a printing company for years, uh, for 10 years. 
and uh, he he learns English uh, for your life for uh, for my because life because no, his life his life she's it's like a man. your partner no, was she's, a man no it's girl okay for her life okay for he, her life her life yes excuse mm -hmm. me for his her life because he he likes uh, yeah. travel he, she okay she <laughs> excuse me because she's a like she likes travel and the english is it's difficult for she but she's love uh, english okay and what company does she have evelyn uh, she have a printing company printing printing okay printing mm -hmm. company okay thank you very much evelyn dalia Hi, my partner is Evelyn Reyes. She's auditor in the bank. Uh, she needs to study English uh, for her work. And she needs to uh, uh, read and speak fluency. Uh, she ha she She's uh, 33 years old. And she's a pretty girl and a smart girl. <laughs> and I don't know. Um, she need she need to study English. Okay, all right. Only that. Okay, good, good. Henry, go ahead. Tell us your partner. Okay, my partner is Ana Dimas. She work in. She works. She works in a laboratory, mm -hmm. and she studied. She studies. She studies. She studies um architecture mm -hmm. and she worked in a part where the civil engineers are in the laboratory and what? she she lives in Cuscatancingo she lives she lives in she's from Cuscatancingo okay and uh, she know where I where I am from she knows she knows where I am from. That's okay. right. <laughs> okay, Henry, gotta remember, use the S. Use the S, Henry, remember. Okay, the S. Good, good, all right, Anna. Uh, good evening. Uh, uh, my partner was uh, Henry. Henry lives in, in San Juan Opico, uh, around there, uh, Ciudad Versailles. Versailles. Uh, he was uh, studying uh, computer fixer. Um, only that, teacher. <laughs> okay, I know. All right, no problem. <laughs> That's fine. Good. Maria, tell us about your partner. Okay. My partner is Elsie Vasquez. She lives in San Salvador. She works in a text, I don't, I don't remember how do you say textile, textile? Correct, company. textile. Textile company. Um, she needs to learn English. She because, needs. Per, perdón, she? Needs. Needs, yeah, needs to learn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Needs to learn English because uh, she's looking for a new job because her company is, 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 will be closed, closed um, in a few months, in a few months. Okay. okay. Um, she is, she's single, she's 43 years old. Um, let me see. I don't remember that. Okay. All right. No problem. Good job, Maria. Good job. All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, my partner was Maria. 
um, the co-workers tell her Marielos. <laughs> She's married and she works like a auditor in the uh, Universidad Católica del Salvador. She lives in Santa Ana and I'm astonished because she said uh, she has six children. <laughs> Child. Yeah, six. six. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Six children, yes. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> okay. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I, I can see you. Yes. Yeah. I don't I, I don't have a camera in my computer. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Elsie. All right. Good job. Brenda. Okay, she is my partner. Her name is Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. She is 30 years old. Uh, she lives in Soyapango. She, she works uh, accounting, assisting accounting. That's it. <laughs> okay, very fast. Good. All right. All right. Okay, good evening. Um, my partner is uh, Brenda, she's 35 years old. She lives in San Jacinto. She works as an accountant. Only that. Good, accountant. Accountant. Okay, good. All right, good. Francisco. Francisco Javier. <laughs> okay, I introduce you uh, to Ana Pineda. She works in Crio Inversiones. She's a quality manager. And she learning English because it's better for her job. And um, she has a brother-in-law, an American brother-in-law, and she needs to speak with him in English. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Hi, uh, hello, Francisco Javier, he is a teacher. Uh, he works at Highland School and he wants to uh, speak to uh, improve his skills in that uh, language, that's it. Okay, thank you very much, Anna, thank you, good job. Rafael. Rafa, you, you are on mute. You are still on mute, Rafa. Hey, now? Can you hear me? Now we can hear you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I will introduce my partner. Uh, she is a uh, Gabby. Gabby. It really was. It's it really a nice talk to her. She is very nice. Uh, she is from Santa Ana, and she, uh, here in Santa Ana, uh, she worked in a call center, but she decided to move to San Salvador to get a better job. Uh, in San Salvador, her first job uh, was in a call center in Spanish, uh, selling insurance for a credit card. And uh, <laughs> uh, for the stress of the job, she decided to quit and get a better job. And now she is working in management. And uh, she is starting English uh, in order to get uh, a promotion in her job. Mm, nice, nice. Thank you, Rafa, thank you. Gabby, you're on. You're on silent. Your your microphone is mute. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'll introduce you, Rafael. Rafael is working in a call center here in San Salvador. He's concentric, and it's funny because I he's also from Santa Ana, and I am from Santa Ana. But as he said, I decided to move here to San Salvador. He also told me 
that he is studying English in order to improve some skills he thinks he should improve and get better for her job because his he's job. already using his job because he's already using this idiom. And that's it. Okay. All right, good. Thank you, Gabby. Very good, thank you. And I think we have the last partners, which is David. Hello. I don't have a partner, but I introduce myself. I am a good night, good evening, every, everyone. Uh, my name is De David Lopez. I live in, or I live in Apopa, and in the first class uh, que, que yo tengo acá, pero no voy a integrar. Don't worry, David. You, you can do it in English. You can do it in, the, in English, David. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I work on audit con accounting. The, the, um, uh, nice to meet you, everyone. The, yeah. Okay. No, sé si es solamente, solamente eso. <laughs> no problem. No problem. That's fine, David. All right. Good job, guys. I think that's everybody, right? I, uh, did I forget anyone? I, I think no, but just in case. No, everybody passed, right? Okay. Great. So uh, I'm glad and that I got to know all of you and I heard the introductions and the idea. Uh, my name is Edwin and I have been teaching since uh, 2001 here in El Salvador. And before that, I taught also in the US. I was a math instructor there. I lived there for about 20 years in the US. And then I decided to move to El Salvador because my family is here. And we decided to stay here with our families. Uh, so I have been working for Inglés Cooperativa for a few years now. And as I mentioned, I have worked in many different areas in education, in call centers, in Pizza Hut, and woof, many, many different jobs. And I have gone to mm -hmm. lived in many in different countries. Um, I have lived in maybe, I think now it's 22 different houses. Um, so I have a lot of experience in different areas. So. I have worked with thousands of students in all of my years. So I hope I can help you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will try to assist you the best that I can, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our work in the platform. Unless somebody has a question um, that they would like me to answer or if they have something they'd like to comment, now is the moment to ask or to make the comment. No All right, excellent. Let's dive into <clears throat> our work then. Oh wait, yes. Yes, I I, uh, I have a problem <laughs> in this platform because uh, I try to open my level, but the, the screen is not found in my class. Okay. And the uh. uh I take a screenshot and uh, um... no problem, Francisco. We'll try to figure it out. Um, you are in the WhatsApp group. When you go to the WhatsApp group and you click at the top, you're going to see everybody that's in the group. The person, okay. the person that you need to write to or the person that you need to contact is the name Jonathan Guzman. Okay, so in the way, okay, thank you. You can write to Jonathan and explain the situation so that they can fix the problem for your platform. Jonathan is the one who is responsible for the technical aspects. So if you have a problem with the platform, with uh, your certificate, with a video, the, Jonathan is the one who answers all of the technical aspects because he is the 
computer guy, let's say like that. If you have any questions for the language, for the pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, that is me. I am the language person and you can ask me. So uh, uh, another word uh, to the group, uh, make today, I engage the uh, before, sorry, after uh, uh, make in my platform. Yes. With you, all. Yes, yes you, you, if you have, a, for example, you have a, a screenshot, you, uh, you write to Jonathan and share the screen and say, Jonathan, I am in the wrong group. I need access to, and then you explain the access is for this level. I will show you here. You need okay. access to this course, right? Our course is this one, okay? Which is intermediate two, right? Intermediate module two. This is the one that you need access to. All right, guys, um, if there are no other questions, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today, we're gonna to be looking at verbs, especially the two-part verbs. These are the phrasal verbs, okay? Uh, phrasal verbs are where we put two words together and we create a new meaning. We're going to learn a little bit and by watching the video and then I will explain. Of course, this time you will not only... Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right, so we can see we have a lot of different words in there that we're learning. And the phrasal verbs, the ones that we're talking about are these that have two. It's turn down, okay? Pick up, hang up, okay? Do you know what is turn down? Mm. Yes, turn down is to reduce, exactly. Low, reduce. low volume. The low volume, excellent. Now, what about the idea for pick up? Right here, it says, Lisa, please pick up your things. What is pick up? Recoger. That's right. We have it for collect, collect your things. Collect. Here, what about this one? It says hang up. What is hang up? When you finish, uh, finish, the uh, finish, finish, calling. Uh, finish the calling. Yeah, that's right. When you finish the call, when you finish the call, it's hang up. Okay. Now, are there any other words in the conversation that you don't know for the pronunciation or for the usage? Yes, Evelyn, which one? Loud. Mm, let me see. Loud. Is the three lines? Right here? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it's very loud. That means the volume, the volume is very high. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Loud is uh, similar to noise. With loud noise, correct. The noise is very okay. The noise is very high. This is loud. How about the other words? Everything else is okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, great. So these are the idea for phrasal verbs. That's what we mean when we put two words together, turn and down, and together they have a different meaning. Now we're gonna learn a little bit about those different meanings, okay? So what are we gonna learn? We're gonna learn how to use 
the two part verbs to make requests. Okay, that means to ask for things. Let's watch this video. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs will for responding to requests with nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is what that means is that if you want to put in present, past or future, it's okay. But only you can change the first verb. Only the first word you can put and have the same meaning, okay? You can use the present, past, or future of that verb. It's also important to know the two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place, and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. What are they trying to explain? Here, they are explaining that you can separate. You can put, they woke up separate, woke the giant up, or you can put woke up together. Woke up the giant, okay? This is the idea that if you want, if you have a subject like a noun, you can put it in between or at the end, okay? Only for the subject, not for pronouns, only the subjects. And both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. So it is not correct pick up him. It is not correct putting off it. It is not correct call back her. If it's a pronoun only in between. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, Put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. This is important because if you change the second word, you change the meaning. If you change, I don't remember, ah, off, on, in, back, is a different meaning for the word. Okay, so you have to remember the exact way that you use it because that is the one that is going to have that meaning. We will finish this explanation by adding that two part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay. Before we continue, Critical. understand all of these, pick them up, putting it off, call her back. Do you understand what these phrasal verbs mean? So the pronoun ever, error, uh, is between two, the two parts. Correct. The pronoun is between the two parts. Correct. Always. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 
any other questions? Just to be sure, mm -hmm. when you're talking about nouns, it's correct to use it by separate, like, like uh, the noun between the two words of the verb and also the two words um, un united uh, plus uh, the That is correct. You can use it in the middle, in between, or at the end, the noise woke up the giant, like in here. So the two forms with the noun, yes. With the pronoun, no. Only with the noun. Oh, okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right, Perfect. making sure that everybody is clear. Okay, so let me explain what we're going to do. Sorry, I had taken off the share. Okay, so what are we going to do? Now with our partners, we have two activities. The first activity is this, we're going to practice this conversation. If you do not have access to the platform, it's not a problem because I set the conversation to the WhatsApp group. So if you don't have access to the platform, it's no problem. You can use the WhatsApp group. Then what is the second activity? Activity number two is you are going to complete the knowledge check 1.4. Now, what is the knowledge check? We can see here, okay, the different ideas. We have the different things. We have perks, your boots, the different objects. And we're going to choose what do you think is correct? Pick up what? Turn? what off right so you're going to look at the words that are here in the chart and choose the word to complete the sentences it's okay the instructions yes yes you see we have 10 words because we have 10 pictures so all of the pictures you're going to use one time so okay Let's go with our partners. We have six minutes to complete the two activities. Six minutes to complete the two activities. Okay, and let's see. Claudia and David, you are going to work together here. I'm going to see and listen to you while you work. Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. You're it was for me or, or another colleague? No, no, you, you and David are going to hear, you are going to do the practice, the conversation, and then you are going to complete the 1.4 knowledge check. Okay, but did you, um, I'm working in my phone because I don't know what happened with my computer, so I didn't, I can see. I can see the conversation. No, and you, you can you see in the WhatsApp? Mm, no, because I am in the in the no. phone. Okay, no problem, David. David, are you there? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I heard, but the rain is a storm. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, David. All right, David, do you can you see the conversation? Yeah, only uh, one question. The two part is only for the action. 
o... o sea, solo son para acciones, no son para, o sea, como, como decirlo así, como imperativo del verbo. The, the second part. Uh, the verb to part. And the, uh -huh. uh, for, example, for, for example, pick up is only for the action. I, I'm not sure I understand the question, David, because it's a verb, so it's, it, it's an action, but I don't understand what is the question. O sea, es algo que va a realizar una persona siempre. El verbo, yo sé que es algo que va a realizar una persona, pero en este caso no representa, como le dijera, eh, siempre va a haber como un complemento a, esa, a, esos, a, esa, a ese verbo partido en dos, porque es una acción que va a realizar una persona. Correct. That is correct. So always is is never correct. Is always you need to have a, a complement. It's never correct. Only pick up. No, you need to say pick pick uh, Claudia up or pick up the clothes or pick up the telephone. But always is necessary a complement. Okay. So David, Claudia, practice the conversation and complete. 1.4. David, you can share your screen with Claudia. That way Claudia can see, and then you can work together. David, are you still there? Okay. I think you, Claudia, you and I, I come back. All right, good, Claudia, good. I think you and David are having technical problems, right? Yes, because I don't know what happened with my internet. No but. problem. No problem, Claudia. It's okay. It, som sometimes it happens. Okay. Okay. Right. Now I am. In what did you say, Claudia? Now I am in the computer. Okay, all right. <laughs> now we only have 20 seconds to finish. <laughs> but it's okay. We practice, <laughs> we, you can practice later and try again tomorrow. Because I think David also had the same problem for the rain. Okay, but I can see the, the, the video. I don't know where, where I can see it. Uh-huh, it's in the, in the email they sent you with the WhatsApp group is there, the link for the, to see it. Okay, I'm going. Okay, guys, welcome back. I see everybody is back, it's good. Before we continue, before we wrap up, uh, were there any questions, any things you didn't understand? Now, only Evelyn and me, uh, we try to go to the platform because my computer is busy, but she uh, shared the, the screen, the screen here, mm -hmm. but don't finish. <laughs> because <laughs> try to go to platform and it is a, a little bit uh, time. Okay. It's a not enough time. Not enough time, right? Yes. That's, then, then you have homework. Then you have homework. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Teacher, in my case, I'm not in the um, 
uh, WhatsApp chat. I don't know why. You didn't accept? No, I, I don't have the invitation. Yes, because if you have access to this platform, you have access to the WhatsApp, it's in the link. You need to read because in the mm -hmm. same email, it's not different email. Well. So when you look and it says, ah, you have the, the access to platform intermediate to this is the thing in there. It says, click the link for the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can click and then you can join tomorrow or tonight. Okay. Guys, if you didn't finish, remember to finish. Uh, this is the objective for you to work in the platform 1.4. And we will continue tomorrow. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you guys so much. You. Have a nice Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>